Greetings. This devotion is for the 26th of September, and our reading for this day comes from the 11th chapter of St. Mark, verses 27 through 33. Again, they came to Jerusalem, and as he, he meaning Jesus here, was walking in the temple, the chief priests and the scribes and the elders came to him and said, by what authority are you doing these things? Who gave you this authority to do them? And Jesus said to them, I will ask you one question. Answer me, and I will tell you by what authority I do these things. Did the baptism of John come from heaven, or was it of human origin? Answer me. They argued with one another. If we say from heaven, he will say, why then did you not believe him? But, shall we say, of human origin, they were afraid of the crowd, for all regarded John as truly a prophet. So they answered Jesus, We do not know. And Jesus said to them, Neither will I tell you by what authority I am doing these things. Oh. Jesus once again outsmarts the religious authorities. And, and, and certainly... This is not an uncommon thing. As, as we read through Scripture, we see this kind of battle back and forth, don't we? That, that the, they're trying to trip him up. Right? And, and, and the thing is here, I, I think we need to go after this. This wasn't just a thing. Uh, uh, Jesus said, oh, here they come. I'm, watch what I do to them here. They were always missing the point. If, if in this case they had to ask by whose authority, then they were missing who he was in the first place. And he had to come, they had to come to terms was, he was the son of God. They were losing, and because they weren't speaking from a faith perspective, they, they were missing out. Right now, no. Those who aren't there, those religious leaders that aren't j around, just to try to trip him up, he sits and talks with them. Note very specifically Nicodemus. But the key here is to understand, of course, of course, right, that Jesus is from God. And that's all the authority he needed. Now, before we kind of cast off these religious authorities, um, you know, all too often, and, and not that we directly confront Jesus the way they did. We, we aren't in the same time period. We're thousands of years later, right? But when we place other of life's priorities in front of Jesus, then in many ways we're doing the same thing. We're kind of walking away from God. And, and, and whatever those priorities happen to be doesn't make them all bad and evil, but, but nothing can take priority over, over our relationship with God. And how that works itself out, certainly St. Andrews is a piece of that. Mm -hmm. We, like the religious authorities, have to first look at Jesus as the Son of God and place him first. Nothing else can matter more. Turn to God always. Join me in a prayer attributed to Francis of Assisi. Lord, make us instruments of your peace. Where there is hatred, let us sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is discord, union. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light where there is sadness, joy. Grant that we may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, 
to be loved is to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen.